Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Intentional Christian Woman podcast. I'm Rosie. I'm your host and creator of the show, and I'm so delighted that you can join me today. Okay, so today we're going to talk about my word of the year, but it's not because I just want to share with you my word of the year because I want to show it off or anything like that. No, it's because I really want to share some a Bible verse that really has inspired this word. And I will say that I was in between a couple of words until I decided this is really the word for me for 2024. And I'm going to explain all that. And you're going to get a lot out of this podcast, my sister, because I know that if you're looking for that calm in the storm of your life, you're looking to find that shalom, that peace in your life. I think I just gave you a hint about my word, by the way, <laughs> that peace that you want in your life. This is why I'm here. You know, I'm here to help you to create a Bible study routine to calm the anxiety and the stress and all the stuff you have in your mind, because you will connect deeply with God through his word. And he will give you the peace that no one else can give you. Your mind will be clear you will be able to hear his voice. You will be able to know what he wants for your life. It's it's almost like this cause and effect, right? Where you feel deeply connected because you're in his word every day. You're connecting with him. You are in the word. You're praying. You're like, God and I, we're close. We're like in a really good relationship right now. Like that's where I want you to be. And then you'll see the result of it, which is the peace that no one can take away not your worst enemy and not our worst enemy, which is unfortunately Satan. And he, that's what he wants to take away. He's lying to you every day, trying to take away that peace that only God can give you. But you know what? I have some good news for your sister. Guess what? Through the word, you hear no lies. You hear only truth. So are you ready to do this? All right, let's do it. Are you so busy and overwhelmed that you can't get enough time to connect with God? Are distractions robbing you of your time with Jesus? Is your motivation to spend time in the Word just not what it used to be? Do you want to be more consistent in your personal Bible study? Welcome home, sister. I'm Rosie, a mom, wife, teacher, and devoted disciple of Jesus. And like you, I struggled to stay consistent with my Bible study. When life got busy, I felt so overwhelmed that spending time in God's Word was no longer a priority. In my hardest seasons of life, my motivation to be in the Bible grew weak. I lost my convictions and walked away from God. But by His grace, my faith was restored and with a conviction to never take God's word for granted again. If you're tired of letting the enemy steal away your time, energy, focus, and motivation, then sister, this podcast is for you. So go reheat your coffee, dust off your journal and Bible, and get ready to take back your time. So my word of the year is, ready? Peace, 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 peace. That is the word, okay? Peace. Now, initially, I was kind of debating on the word harmony because harmony is so involving in like so many things together in one. Like I was thinking mind, body, spirit, all of that. So I was initially going to choose the word harmony because it's not just about having peace in my mind, but my body feeling the peace, um, just everything, right? My body, my spirit, you know, all that just coming together. And it's true while, while that harmony is still kind of like the word, I guess you can say it's like the word in the background. Really peace is really what I want. And peace is, I know what a lot of you want to. And I know that life can be so crazy, like busy, especially now as I'm recording this through the holiday season, you'd think that the holiday season should be more peaceful, right? Because here comes Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior about to be born, right? Celebrating his the day of his birth, although it is debatable whether it was exactly on the 24th or not. I know we can always argue that we don't know, right? For sure. But we can we know for sure that we commemorate his birth, that we're here to celebrate his birth, not to get, you know, not to get excited necessarily about getting gifts. Although I know deep inside, a lot of us are really excited about getting gifts or about giving gifts, right? Or about our kids are getting gifts. And all that. That's nice. But the truth is, you know, that probably came from originally probably stemmed from the three kings bringing the gifts to to Jesus. Now, if you guys know me at all, you know that I have a Hispanic background and I, my mom is Puerto Rican. So I know in Puerto Rico and probably in some other parts of the world, I'm not really sure, they celebrate Three Kings Day. So that's like January 6th, right? The day that the Three Kings came to give 
gifts to Jesus. And so people get excited for that day. So it may have to do that with getting gifts, but we know the truth is that it's not about material things. It's about the coming of Jesus. So you would think that we're like feeling great and at peace, but no, sometimes if we're not careful, we allow the influences of the world to interrupt our minds and our hearts. And then we can get stressed out in this season. And I've come to really a lot of just a conclusion that really, it's really up to me to decide what am I going to let into my life or what am I going to keep out of my life? What boundaries am I going to put in place, especially when it comes to Satan's lies, when it comes to the world's influences, you know, when it comes to people pleasing, you know, when it comes to all these things, like what boundaries will I put in place? So more recently, I realized and discovered 100% that I definitely have ADHD. Okay. I definitely have ADHD. And sister, it is not easy to live with this. Now, you know, to be diagnosed as an adult is extremely difficult because the test that they have, it's built pretty much for kids. So there are other means of getting a diagnosis, but some of them are extremely expensive. But I'm going to tell you right now, it runs in my family. Uh, my son has been diagnosed, one of my sons. Um, and then other members of my family have it as well. <laughs> Pretty much all my siblings think they either have it or think they have it. So like, it's just been this realization of like, okay, this is what it is. This is why some things are harder than others. And in my mind, there is not a lot of peace happening, okay, because of, the, of this ADHD. It's very difficult to get into that place. So over the last several months, I've been discovering something that has helped me tremendously to come into a state of calm. And, and I've been realizing what my Bible study routine has really done for me. And it just kind of all came together like, oh, that's why I really love reading my Bible every day or studying my word or doing this 30-day devotional plan, which actually I'm doing one right now with our with our Facebook community with the people that wanted to join in if, if you don't if you want to join in it's not too late by the way just go to the actually go to bit.ly slash forward slash let's be intentional bit.ly that so it's bit.ly slash let's be intentional and you can connect with me free on Facebook we're doing a, a devotional 30-day devotional together and it's a 30-day plan and it's actually about decluttering our minds spirit hearts and even our finances so if you want in it's not too late all right but aside that the reason why I come here to share this word with you, my word peace, is because I really want to encourage you, sister, that you can have and find that peace in your life through spending time with God every day. You know, there are ways you can do this without needing to like spend 30 minutes, an hour. And I hear people spending like an hour and 30 minutes and I'm like, that's wonderful for you. That's great. I can only really do that on the weekends and even most of the time, just one day of the weekend. And if I'm lucky, you know, sometimes I can spend more than that. But as a mom of three, as someone who has a coaching business now, as a full-time educator, as uh, someone who leads with my husband in the ministry in the church, and my husband actually, he just finished his theology master's and he's going to go into his doctorate prayerfully soon. And we lead a group. I mean, there's a lot we have going on and different, you know, our kids are in different stages of life. So it's, it's a lot. And it's just like, oh, like, we're literally learning even in our marriage, like how to say yes and no to certain things and how to make sure to protect our quality time. And just really at the end of the day, keep peace. Like earlier in the year, we decided to do a monthly Sabbath and it has been really good, but I will admit that not all of those times have been the best for me because I always do something like I'm like, He's like, he chokes with me because he's like, oh my gosh, like you're supposed to do nothing. And I, in the morning, I'm like, but I'm recording a podcast. It doesn't feel like work. And he's like, it's work. And I'm like, no. So I can tell you right now, it hasn't been perfect every single time, but that has allowed us to have that special family time where we know that that day we have scheduled nothing and we're focusing on spending time together. And our times with God are extra special. We're spending extra times with the, with the Lord on our Sabbath. And more recently, we started doing our our quiet times or our prayer, our, our Bible study times together. And on those days, and they has been so amazing, like the experience, oh my gosh, I'm going to go off on a tangent here, but that'll be for another day, another podcast. The point is that what I've been seeing these little steps that we've been taking, and I myself have been taking in my life to even learning how to meditate, how to just be with God, how to just spend time with him. I have several episodes on that. If you want to look back on that podcast, like 
that has helped me to really remain more calm and find more peace. So I said, you know what? This year has been a learning experience for me. And so next year, that's what it's going to be all about. Like, I feel like I'm like in step one and maybe two, but I'm going to now go to the next level next year. And I'm going to go to step three and four and whatever steps I need to take to get to find that perfect peace that I can only find really in Christ alone. And that's what I want to encourage you. So the scripture that I chose, my scripture of the year, my Bible verse of the year, and I want to encourage you with that. If you want to choose it or borrow it or choose your own word of the year, whatever fits you, pray over it, fast over it. That's what I did. Like I spent time fasting and praying. And finally, God revealed that this was the word. So in Isaiah 26, verse three, it says in the NIV version, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Ooh. So here's another version, the New Living Translation, just to give you a few different versions. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you and whose thoughts are fixed on you. English Standard Version, you keep in perfect peace, who's, you keep him or her in this case, right? In perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because she, he, she trusts in you. Wow. So what do all those things have in common? Our minds are in perfect peace because our thoughts are fixed on Jesus, because I, I trust in Jesus. But really, it's all about what's in my mind, right? Like, what is in your mind? And the best way you can have God in your mind, the easiest way you pick up your Bible, you pick up your book, your 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 actual book Bible or your app, Bible app or whatever works for you, like pick it up and read something every single day. The word being in your mind and in your, your mind goes to your heart and it will fight those negative thoughts. It will fight those conflicting, you know, thoughts and worries and anxiety, all that. It will be such, it is a great tool and weapon, more like a weapon to fight against the anxiety that you feel in your life. And either in every day or in some days or however many times you experience anxiety or fear or worry. And I know, sister, that you do that. You do. In my last episode, I talked about I had a method of how to find calm in your anxiety really quickly in less than five minutes. So if you want to check out last week's episode, feel free to do that because and it has really to do with connecting with God, but it's a strategy that works for me. So I, I'm here to tell you that you can find that calm in your life, that peace through a Bible study routine. If you need a lect- extra help with that, just go to the intentional Christian and we can come up with a plan together that fits your specific time needs and we can get that. We can make that happen for you, okay? All right, my sister. Well, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I love you so much. Know that you're on my heart. I'm praying for you. I'm in the community, always checking the prayer chat to see what is your next prayer request because I like to pray for you. I want us to be united in that way. And I love that sisters are very interactive there. I love that lately there's been a lot more members joining our community. We've surpassed 200 members. I think we're at more than 210 now, just in a couple of days. So I'm truly grateful for those who are finding me through the podcast or through the Facebook um, search. Thank you so much for joining me there. And I'm truly, truly looking forward to getting to know you in the community. So if you haven't done so yet, my sister, what are you waiting for? Come and join in by going to bit.ly forward slash let's be intentional. And I will see you in there, my sister. I am so grateful that you joined me today. I hope and pray that this episode was able to inspire you and encourage you. And I will see you in the next one. Hey sister, if this episode encouraged or blessed you in some way, then the best thing you can do is share it with a friend. Also, I would love it if you join me in my Facebook community, Intentional Bible Study for Christian Women. There is an amazing sisterhood encouraging one another and praying for each other. And sister, if you've ever thought about connecting deeper with God, through a consistent, powerful, and uniquely designed Bible study routine that works just for you and your time needs. Look no further because I am your mentor and friend and your coach, and I can help you. All you need to do is write me at coachwithrosie at gmail.com. You can connect with me there, or you can check out theintentionalchristianwoman.com for more details. Lastly, if you haven't done so yet, I would invite you to leave me a review on Apple Podcasts. This is the way that I know this show is blessing you. My sister, I love you. Know that I'm praying for you. And I will see you in the next one.